Hey, welcome back. And what we're going to do today is style up this a little bit. We're going to uh, make the side nav um, fixed to the left hand side and then the nav items um, we're going to make fixed to the top. Okay. So, how are we going to do that? Well, first thing we need to do actually is now create a CSS. Uh, style sheet. So let's call that main. And when you create a style sheet, you have to add it into um, into the the application or the website, and you do that in the head uh, by link rel add the style sheet, and then the href. Now you'll see that um, PHP uh, Storm is selecting these ones because that's these in the in the structure file but remember th this head file has been brought in to index so you can actually just use everything in um, th this folder okay so we'll open this uh, let's go back to our header let's have a look here Okay, so I'm going to use a, this container for the overall web um, web application later on. So I'm just going to grab this and put that inside there. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so the header we're, we're now going to well we're going to need to call this. Um, name this nav uh, item so we're bringing class and call it navbar uh, and this same for this aside we'll because that's our uh, left sidebar we'll call that uh, well actually sidebar then okay and we'll pull out this inline styling in a moment okay great so <clears throat> let's start with the navbar. Uh, overflow hidden. And there probably is a better way to do this, um, but this is just the way I do things. And we can style it a bit better as we go. Like I said, we want the position to be fixed. Now top zero, I'll explain a bit about this later. Um, top zero means it'll go straight to the top. I know we have that other nav bar, but there's only gonna be a couple of things in that. So we'll push everything in the top nav bar to the right. Uh, width, let's keep that at 20% now. Okay, now in the nav bar, we're gonna have anchor items. Uh, a little later on, so we're going to style those now. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, well, let's call that white for now. Center. And these, um, oh, PX, not PC. These um, styles I'm doing here are when I'm setting up something, these are kind of the basics of what, how I set things up, and then I amend them later on. Uh, text decoration. I don't want any text decoration on the. Um, on the anchor tags, and the anchor tags are links. And then let's add a hover effect to these links. Uh, background, and then I'll do. Okay, let's 
see how that looks. Okay, we're getting there. Like I said, that because he's top zero, he's been forced to the top. Actually, one thing I forgot to do: I've got no body um, styling in here. Well, body is this guy here. You don't because it's a predefined tag. You don't need to put um, like a dot in front of it or um, a pound sign or a hashtag, whatever you call that. Uh, margin zero. Okay, great. That. Yeah, so now you can see the nav item is on top of the sidebar. I do apologize about the top zero thing earlier. I thought I was doing the sidebar. Um, this is now obviously on top, which we don't want. Um, so we can put that here, Let's float that right. We'll come, we'll come back to that. Okay, anyway, let's do the sidebar and then let's figure, figure the rest out. Okay. Okay, so we've got our nav. Now let's get our sidebar. Sidebar, so we want the height at 100%. Ah, yes. Now, well, we had width 20%, didn't we? Well, not actually 80%. Right, position fixed. Turn index. And again, we want this at the top. Left zero. Color to do for the main one. Is it? We styled this different color. Our background color 333. Let's keep that the same. Overflow X hidden. And again, let's um, let's style the the anchor tags or the links. So we'll, we'll change these as we go later on. This it's just basic styling for now. And we'll just change the color slightly. Uh, let's keep it in the theme. Let's just grab that guy. Actually, let's grab the same for both. Okay, let's upload that and see how that looks. Okay, that's getting a bit better. Although the color should be white. Uh, sidebar. Hmm. Just 
Fangen da denn? I'll figure that out in a minute. I've obviously done something wrong here. Anyway, so um, the sidebar is there. We've got our nav, which is up here. As you can see, that is starting at the left, but we want it to float over. Okay. Ah, of course, we have forced in style, in line styling here. Take that out. Uh, main content would be okay for now. Okay, this is being a bit of a peg for some reason. Do we'll put this under the sidebar? Still not floating right. It's floating. Hmm. Or we could just do that. Is that a float change? Actually, the width I like to be at the top and then left 20%. Except this is this is only basic stuff at the moment, just to get it to look a bit better. My CSS is really fighting with me. Ah, it's not updating. That's why. Okay, we'll have to wait for that to update. For some reason, my FTP is not updating. I'll figure that out in a minute. Um, okay, so we'll, we have the basic uh, side navigation, which will be fixed. This, once my FTP updates, I'll look into that in a moment, that will go to the right. And then the content uh, is that little red line there, and the footer items, we'll sort that out in the next video.